Expand our efforts to vaccinate children ages five and up. For any parent worried about Omicron variant or the Delta variant, get your child vaccinated at one of the 35,000 locations in the country, including doctor's offices, pharmacies, children's hospitals, and 9,000 pop-up clinics at schools. If you're wondering where to go, again, visit vaccines.com. And today I'm announcing that we're going to launch hundreds of new family vaccination clinics across the country. These sites are going to offer vaccinations for the whole family, one stop, one stop. Children can get vaccinated, parents can get vaccinated to get their second, first or second shots or their booster shots. Family vaccination clinics will be held in community health centers and other trusted locations. Some will be mobile to reach further into hard to reach communities. If it's booster shots for adults, vaccinations for kids, all the same place at the same time. Now, you know, when we first announced, I said the logistical problem, it wasn't just we didn't have enough vaccines when we got into office, but once we got the vaccine, the logistical effort to get all communities and all areas vaccinated was a gigantic logistical undertaking that would make any military proud of being able to do it. But because of the incredible talent, including our military, we got that done. And we're going to do the same thing now as we continue to expand. We know parents of children under the age of five are wondering when the vaccine will be available for their little ones. That's a question I most get often asked now at functions. We had a function uh, celebrating Hanukkah and the Christmas and various things at the White House. The parents coming up to me are saying, I, I have a three-year-old. Is there going to be a time that that can, am I going to be okay? Is she going to be okay? Are he going to be okay? And let me say this, I strongly support the independent scientific review of vaccine uses for children under five. <clears throat> we can't take, take shortcuts with that scientific work, but I'll do everything in my power to support the FDA to do this safely and quickly as possible when we get to that, around that point. Vaccinating our children is also critical to keeping our schools open. But while over 99% of our schools are open now, we need to make sure that we keep that throughout the winter this winter. The CDC is now reviewing pioneering approaches like, as we call, test to stay, test to stay policies, which could allow students to stay in a classroom and be tested frequently when a positive case in that classroom popped up that wasn't them. Up to now, you get go home when you quarantine. But rather than being sent home in quarantine, they'd be able to stay by be, because the test would be available and regularly. The CDC will be releasing the latest science and other findings in the coming weeks so that other schools can learn from, an, from, from the impediment, excuse me, uh, uh, if there's any impediments in this practice, they can learn to implement exactly what the best way to do this is. This is a process. We want our children in school and we're going to take new steps to make sure they st stays that way. But again, the best step is to vaccinate your children. Get them vaccinated. The third, 